Hey guys, it's Sherry Vegas and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to show you how to make these really cool dishes out of resin. To start with, you need a few items. You need some casting resin, pigments that you're going to be using, a mixing container, and a silicon mold. The resin that I'm using today is a little bit different to what I normally use. This resin is a casting resin and it's designed to work with molds. So it's great to use in jewelry as well as making serving trays. I purchased this resin from a store called Barnes and I'll link it in the description box below. I bought this resin because it's very clear and it is designed to be used with pigments or without and it also is dishwasher safe. Which is ideal if you are making bowls and trays. Now this resin you mix 2 to 1 ratio. So I'm just measuring that out now and my mold takes around 250 mils of resin. So I've just worked out the measurements and then the second part was quite liquidy. So it was very different to the normal resin I normally use. But I made sure I mixed it in thoroughly so that way both part A and B were combined. So today I've chosen to use three different colours. I'm using a translucent grey pigment. I'm also using a metallic soft gold pigment which I bought from Barnes and then I'm using a white called Snow White and that I got from Artie Sue's. You can choose whatever colours you prefer when creating your serving dish. I just wanted to go for this because this will match in with my home and I also chose to go with full body pigments and also translucent pigments to create a really cool effect. Now I'm just dividing my pigment into four different lots. I'm going to keep some of the resin clear so that way I can create some really cool layering in my serving dish. Once you have your pigments mixed in with your resin thoroughly, then you just need to grab your silicone mold and then you just start pouring. So you can pour the resin in any sort of order you like and with any colours that you like. I am doing a little bit of blow torching intermediately throughout this just to make sure I don't get any bubbles in my casting. I found that this resin doesn't get a lot of bubbles, not as many as I found like my art resins do. So you don't need to go nuts on the blow torch. Um, I just did it any time I did see a bubble. When working with silicon molds and resin, you want to make sure that you don't go the whole way to the top. You want to leave a little bit of a lip for the silicon mold because otherwise it can be really hard getting your resin casting out if you didn't leave enough of a gap. So I've just left it for 48 hours to dry. Um, you could leave it for 24 or less, it just depends. And then all you need to do is pull it out of your silicone mold once it's dry. So this is what the finished product looks like. Now if there's any little rough surfaces on the resin, all you need to do is get your wet and dry sandpaper. So this is really fine. And I'm just going over any of the sharp surfaces and just getting my fingers and making sure that they're nice and smooth. And then once you've done that, you can always apply a little bit of coconut oil or any kind of oil just to sort of take away any of those tiny little scratches. And there you go, you've got an amazing serving tray that's really interesting and completely different to what anyone else will have. If you like this tutorial, make sure you give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to follow me on my other social medias as I post stuff that you don't find on my YouTube channel there.